We are through three weeks of the fantasy football season. Welcome to Up and Adams, and you need to make some roster adjustments. Here I am because I love you. Waiver wire picks, and we are looking at Trevor Lawrence. I'm saying it. I wanted Tua here in this spot, but Tua's owned, actually, and Trevor Lawrence is rostered in less than 50% of fantasy leagues. He had two touchdown passes week two, three touchdown passes in week three. He averaged just under 20 fantasy points a game. You got Christian Kirk there. Clearly, they have a connection. Not a bad thing to bring him in. Probably a bad thing to pay him all that money. That's okay, though. This is fantasy football we're talking about. Evan Ingram, Zay Jones, they are paying off and thriving under Doug Peterson, who has not gotten enough credit for his work there. It's a real coach down there in Jacksonville and a tough matchup in Philly next week, but then he gets Houston, Indy, and the Giants. In Chicago, looking at the running backs, dare I submit Khalil Herbert? I am. I like it because he's rostered in less than 5% of leagues. David Montgomery, of course, left Sunday's game early with a knee and an ankle injury. Herbert went off for 157 and two touchdowns on 20 carries. You love the volume. You love the production. If Montgomery misses time, and he likely will, Herbert will be an immediate RB2, and he's playing for a team that runs the ball and more than 65% of their plays. Simple math, it makes sense. Next up, let's keep the running backs going. Alexander Madison, rostered in 39% of leagues. He's already the best handcuff in fantasy. He has been for years, but if Dalvin Cook misses time with his shoulder, Madison becomes an RB1. Six games as a starter, 477 rush yards, 216 receiving yards, and five touchdowns. Mwah! I could kiss those fantasy numbers. I love it. He faces the Saints and the Bears next. And those, my friends, are two of the worst rushing defenses in the business. Let's talk about Romeo Dobbs. Dobbs a palooza, as myself and Peter Bukowski were talking about it. This is the Packers wide receiver. Eight catches for 73 yards and a touchdown against Tampa Bay. First receiver not named Devonta Adams to catch eight from Rodgers since week one of 2018. Fun fact for you. Chemistry is clearly building. I think it's all those lunches they had, sharing their Lunchables, exchanging their Cheetos for the banana chips, all of it. It all makes sense. Uh, if Rodgers trusts you, he will throw you the ball. It's kind of that simple. If not, he won't. Watkins is on IR. Expect Dobbs to play in three wide receiver sets with Lazard and Cobb starting this week against New England. Finally, if you're looking for a tight end, David and Joku. How is he rostered in only 50% of leagues? Did all of you give up on your fantasy seasons already? He caught 9 of 10 for 89 and a touchdown against Pittsburgh. He gets the Falcons next. Disley got in the end zone last week against Atlanta. He signed a four-year $56.75 million contract extension in the offseason. That sort of tells you what the Browns think of Njoku. I don't like when he does those splits uh, celebrations in the end zone because he's going to pull something and not be available for my fantasy team. But he's been awesome. So to review, David Njoku at the bottom, I gave you one wide receiver this week. It is Romeo Dobbs. Uh, and you should grab him if he is available. He's rostered, like I said, in just 4% of leagues. The Vikings running back, Madison. Herbert for Chicago. A lot of NFC North love there. And then Trevor Lawrence. Again, tough matchup in Philly next week. Then he gets Houston, Indy, and the Giants.